What is going on guys? In this video I'm going to go step by step on how to install Tint. So let me guess, you're probably sitting in or around your vehicle watching videos on YouTube, preferably on your phone, to see exactly how to install Tint on your window. Well, look no further because I'm going to be making this video as short and simple as I possibly can so you could drive away with your new tint. I also must be very frank and tell you that no matter how good you install tint, if you go cheap on the tint material itself, it will show its true colors in a couple of years. You also have to follow the rules and regulations of your state. I mean, you don't have to, but chances are if you install something that's illegal, you're going to get pulled over and fined quite a bit of money. So as you can see right next to me I have my camper and I'm going to be using my camper's back window in order to show you guys exactly how to install tint. Now I also must say that this window is going to be very easy to install tint because it is flat. But if you have a vehicle that has a curved window you might have to use a couple more tools such as a heat gun in order to flex the tint uh, to the concavity of the window itself. So the materials you're going to need is of course a squeegee a razor, soapy water, preferably in a spray bottle, paper towels, window cleaner, I like this armor all because it doesn't leave any spots like other cleaners do, and of course your window tint film. The first step you're going to want to do is wash your window inside and out. The outside isn't that necessary but it will be easier to spot any air bubbles uh, when the window is clean. Of course the inside you're going to want to wash a little thoroughly. Uh, than you did the outside. I actually spent like five more minutes off camera washing it. Once you got that done, you lay out your tints on the window you're going to be applying, making sure you have enough. This one's already pre-cut to what I want it for. And also make sure that the sticky side is facing out because that's how they're designed. You also want to make sure you have excess around just for any marginal error. Once you got that done, you spray the window with soapy water to apply the tint. Then the fun step is actually applying the tints. I like using the tactic where I uh, peel off one side and gradually work my way to the other, slowly peeling off the backing. This reduces the likelihood of the tints grabbing onto something that it's not supposed to and picking up dirt. Once that is complete, you can now start doing the fun part, which is squeegeeing out all the air bubbles. So once you have all the air bubbles out, you can now start cutting off all the excess. I like using the squeegee as a guide to kind of cut a straighter line. Make sure you take your time on this because if you mess up, there will be a little spot that is not tinted and it'll just look really bad. Once that's done, you just peel it off and then you have your tint. Of course, there's still some remaining air bubbles, so you're gonna wanna take care of that. And now you have your tint. Well, there you go. That is how you install tint. This is 5%, it's limo tint, it's like the darkest you could go. And it is legal to have it this percentage, specifically in the back window. And since this is a camper, I don't technically think it counts in California, but we'll see when I get pulled over by the cops. But anyways, I hope this video was useful to you guys, and um, yeah, I hope your projects come out pretty good. Thank you for watching, see ya.